Good morning, it's Friday, October 4th, 2024. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of positive help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, O Lord, Our Lord, How Majestic Is Your Name. And our scripture is Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the work of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And then Isaiah's prophecy, chapter 40. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Compared to God, I am so exceedingly small. (laughs) So are you. Look at the heavens the psalmist asks you to consider. To consider means to make a lesson from something. Let's make a lesson this morning. The stars are a great perspective maker for us. Our star, the sun, is 93 million miles away. Now that's eight minutes by Light Express. Do you grasp just how far that is? If you could shoot a bullet at me, please don't, but if you could at the speed of light, it could pass through me, go around the world, passing through me seven more times before I hit the ground one second later. 186,000 miles in just one second. Now, the next closest star to us is Proxima Centauri. If you started a light beam towards it right now, it would get there in about 40 months. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has about 100 to 200 billion of these stars. We can only see about 8,000 of them with the naked eye. But the Hale Telescope at Mount Palomar, California, can reach into space to see about the distance that light can travel in 175,000 years. That's just into the next galaxy, the Megalanic Cloud. Our newest radio telescopes can see four and a half billion light years, and there are stars all the way. In fact, scientists claim there are around 800 million galaxies, most of which are larger than our Milky Way. That means, according to the mathematicians, we can record somewhere around one quintillion stars. That is a one with 18 zeros after it for you non-mathematicians. The point in all of this is not a fascinating little piece of trivia. It points out how small we happen to be when we compare ourselves to the universe and even that much smaller when we compare ourselves to God, who, Isaiah says, marked off all the heavens by a span. The span is the distance from the tip of your thumb to the tip of your pinky finger. God created and holds all of it in his hand. For you today, it would be proper worship of such an unimaginable God for all of us to keep this thought on our mind's front burner. How inappropriate is our pride when we consider the heavens? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.